Antoine, it's 31 ain't Louis playing a legend. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button, you hear me? We right back at it with another one. I told you that don't stop, you hear me? Man, we got some more content to run about NBA Young Boy, man. This is what they really trying to do to NBA Young Boy. Man, they knew NBA Young Boy. To see this what happened. They knew he beat his federal case in California, you hear me? So Louisiana had all, see, he was already facing you know, a federal gun charge allegedly in Louisiana. Louisiana, you know, they kept pushing this court date back. They let him bond out. He moved to Cali, you hear me? He caught a gun case, you hear me, allegedly. Beat that, beat that federal gun case in Cali, you hear me? Then they shipped him back to Louisiana where they let him, where they charged and they let him bond out. Where he posted a $1.3 million bond, you hear me? Was stipulations where he had to move to Utah. And you heard me, Louisiana already knew they had a weak case against NBA young boy from off jump. I mean, they had a weak case. You ain't find nothing in nine tenths of his possession or nothing like that. You heard me, illegal searches allegedly, co corrupt officers allegedly. But yeah, but you know, so you know, they granted him bond and let him move to Utah. And you hear me? And they knew since 2020. From 2020 to 2024. Man, y'all, how long that is? Man, y'all know that is four years. This man been on house arrest for four years. I ankle monitor on his ankle for four years. I'm talking about restrictions. I, this man barely could even go to doctor's appointment. This man had to record from a studio. I might, I know it might sound good to a lot of people. You didn't hear me. A lot of people probably would have loved him in his position. position. But, you know, four years, house arrest, and a big mansion. Come on now. You only can have certain people over. Man, come on now. What you expect? You know this man was going crazy right now. And then the people that was around him. They seen the signs, but you know, the ones he had around him, you know, they wasn't really there for him. They ain't care. Man, they knew this man was going through this. They knew this man was hurting and stuff, man. Come on, man. Especially when he, he posting pictures of him laying down by a bottle of, you know, of, of a schedule, you know, for narcotic. Come on, now. Who in they right mind gonna let the let the bag and he's the bag that's what i don't understand nba young boys the bag the people around him is the one to blame he i mean he's also t gotta take self-accountability for his own action but the people around him come on really y'all really gonna let the bag go down like this and y'all let the bag man this man was worth 60 m's come on now now he facing 64 charges come on now that is crazy and pathetic come on now Y'all should have known better. Y'all should have known them people were watching, man. This is a, this man was on federal. This man was on federal probation, man. Come on now. This man was steady fighting a charge in Louisiana. You know Louisiana wanted them so bad. See, this what happened. See, Louisiana knew back then, you know, the brave team of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, had got, you know, in some trouble. Got They was corrupted, you hear me, and got caught in your... You know, and you know, having him got charged and booked and got DOC numbers right now. Having him arresting officer that was on it, the same one that was at the NBA young boy video shoot that arrested him. Them same arresting officer got caught, you know, doing corrupt activity with the brave team. And, and now they are. Now incarcerated, so the state of Louisiana already knew, you know, it was, you know, young boy had a 90% chance of beating that federal case in Louisiana. Then they sentenced, then they also filed the motion, the, the uh, you know, about his Second Amendment rights, about whether felons can be in, be in possession of firearms, whether they have a right to bear arms to firearms. So the Louisiana Supreme Court, they taking up that issue. So, I mean, you know, the whole, that's why Louisiana made that call to Utah like that. Come on now. Come on now.
They already knew my yum. Now they about to ship him back to Louisiana. See, this what's gonna happen. They about to hold him in there for another week or two. Give him a bond. Let him bond out. Then they about to re-arrest him as soon as he bond out and send him back to Louisiana to East Baton Rouge Parish Bridge. And that's going to be one of the worst things they can do because he got so many ops in there. And you know, young boy, you know, he ain't going for it. And shout out to young boy. You know, young boy, stand up guy. No matter what they say, no matter what his ops say, if you know, you know. Young boy ain't going on no 23 and 1. Young boy about to hit that line. No matter what, no matter what you hear me, no matter what line you put him on, he going to hit that line. And he going to stand on all 10 and he ain't bagging down. So, you know. I mean, that's why a lot of people say they feel for a safety, but he, but he also got a lot of, it's a lot of, you know, affiliates, allegedly, that's also incarcerated in Louisiana, too, from East Baton Rouge Parish to Catahoula to, you know, Jonesboro, you know, all over Louisiana, you know, but, you know, oh, I, I hope I'm running to let yo-yo, you know, free let yo shit, you heard me, but yeah, though, tell me what y'all think. Will it be safe for NBA young boy to come back to Louisiana? Man, y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe button. 318 Louisiana Legend. I will be back with another one, you heard me?